Um, look, I know we're back here again pretty soon. I know you don't like this place, but, I mean, it was kind of your idea to come and talk to him. Uh. No, I think we should do this. It's just, um, it doesn't make it any easier to be here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Look, I'm hoping we can kind of make this as quick as possible. Um, just get in, talk about Nova, the weird witch sigil thing, and, um, mm -hmm. hopefully get out and, um... Oh, I hope he's not still acting crazy. Um, you don't really need extra stress added on top of everything. Fingers uh, crossed. Let's okay. just get this over with. Um, Golden Freddy, it's Gregory and, and Cassie. Cassie. Um, I met you last time. Yeah, uh, um, we're back. I have something really important to talk to you about. Hello? Uh, uh oh, sir? Um, um oh. hey. Uh, hey! Are um, you okay? Do we wake you up from a nap? No! More like... I'm still dealing with that previous issue I told you about. And I'm also... This is also one of my worst months. <laughs> it is October. I didn't really think about that. Yeah, in October, the veil between life and reality and the extra-dimensional kind of grows thin, so beings try to cross over. You know, like your typical vampires, werewolves, Cthulhu? What's a oh. Cthulhu? I think it's like a big squid. Giant squid demon that if you ever look upon its face, you go crazy. And this is why I prefer tech stuff over magical well, stuff. Yeah, I'm the one that makes sure that he doesn't actually come over. So, you're welcome. Um, thank, thank you. Thank you. Look, um, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I really don't um this is just kind of really important and you're the only person we could really think about to come and ask about it considering this is um a very much a magic problem um okay where do i even begin so nova the thing you kind of ripped me to shreds about the last time i was here um Ooh. essentially he's been giving me these weird visions and uh, whispering to me and i think he's calling out for help but the problem is, I was explaining that to Cassie at the Pizzaplex, and, um, well, this weird magic sigil thing appeared on the wall. Um, Cassie, huh? you have a drawing of it. Show it to him really quick. Uh, yeah, this weird sigil. It's like, I don't know, kind of ancient looking. I thought it could be demonic at first, but it also might just be more like witchy magic. Also, it's purple. Um, I don't know if yeah, that if means that anything. Matters. Oh no. You're a hundred percent correct, by the way. Um th th that it's witchy. That it's ancient or witchy or demonic or all of the above. Oh, um I don't really know if that's something I wanna celebrate unless Oh <gasps> is it like oh, is it like manifestation witches? It's like the the good witches of like the it's like uh Galinda no. or what's her name? Galinda. Galinda, no. the the good witch. No, yeah. no, this ain't a good one. You can tell by the colorization. Purple can mean a lot of different things. Purple can mean neutrality. Can also mean be new beginnings. But in this situation, when it's on a sigil like this, it means someone's energy, someone's personal energy. And uh, I need you to tell me. Do you know who could have done this sigil? Um, no, to be honest, I was kind of hoping that maybe you could tell me. My only assumption was that it had something to do with Nova. Uh, it's to be honest, Nova. he's been looking different. Okay, it's... so if it's not Nova, what, <laughs> what is it? Have you ever heard of a being called the Mystic Hippo? That um, sounds like a cartoon character. I'm sorry, like a, a hippo? Like Hungry Hungry? Oh my gosh, have you guys seen Moodang, the pygmy hippo? Oh, the one at the zoo? Yeah, in Thailand. She's he, famous like, and she's really cute. People. Yeah, oh. she has these little fits and she has cheeks and I want to squish them. Oh yeah, no, I, saw, I saw them in person. They're really cute. Um, But no, so, this is a very, very bad thing though. I don't um, know. Moodang is kind of a mystic hippo and I don't think she would do anything wrong. I don't I mean Moodang. Really... Oh. Um, oh, dang, am I right? Um, okay, sorry. So, if this is, if this energy in Sigil is who I think it is, this is not good. This is really not good. 
Well, who is it that you think it... Who, uh, who is Mr. Kippo? The Mr. Kippo is an ancient being just like me. Well, actually, I'm a, I am older than them, but they took a different path than me. Different path? What are you talking about? I decided that when I discovered my beliefs, that I was going to take a path of good. Use it to defend this world. Hence why I became this world's guardian. But when the Mystic Hippo, who was once a... who discovered her power, this was just a simple fortune teller. Tell you your future, tell you your love life, tell you what, what you could do for your crop rotations. Um, I don't see how there's anything dangerous about a fortune teller. Did she tell me if I'm gonna get an A on my science project? She could have. She could have, but she can't anymore? <sighs> At one point, she got angry. You see, the thing about fortune telling is, it can always be changed. The smallest little detail can, act, can change an entire person's future, such as Gregory. Today's destiny, you could have gone and slept some. But the slightest course correction, like maybe Cassie unpredictably telling you not to slap someone, could get you well, to I stop shouldn't you. shouldn't slap people, that's kind of rude. Exactly! Because that changed, that, that was no longer your future, and thus making her prediction wrong. Um, okay, so what does that mean? She got angry at that. She was tired of destiny always changing what the future was going to be. So, in her frustration, she met someone. Someone she should have never met. Um, <sighs> who did she meet? I never found out fully, but my estimation, I think she made a deal with the devil. The devil? How does that work? There are things in this world, Gregory, that are left said unspoken. But let's just say she found a way and made a deal with him for untold power and um. knowledge beyond mortal comprehension. I don't like the sound of that. You really shouldn't. You see, she offered up a piece of her soul. A bit of a, a bit of a, uh, a deal was formed that Unfortunately, costed her more than just what you would think. What you see, cost her? her good half. You see, the devil's a trickster. He knows how to twist people and to get things to work the way he wants it to. And when he took a part of the Mystic Hippo's soul, he took what was good of them. What made them second think their options. And so what are you trying to say? She doesn't have what a... Conscience? That's what it sounds like. Morals? Not anymore, yeah. Once she figured all that out, she unfortunately lost everything. Lost her mind? Lost her sanity? Everything! She was just driven! And with this knowledge, she gained something even I couldn't do or refused to do. What is that? Manipulate reality. Um, yes. Yeah, why that? would she need to? mean Dude, that do you remember what i told you about fortune telling that sometimes when she gave a prediction the slightest little bit of change altered it yeah what if she told you that she that you would that you would slap this person and that she changed reality so that nothing got in the way of that so that no matter what happened in the end you would slap them like a fixed point in reality kind of thing that you can't avoid Exactly! She would make it a fixed point! Just so she couldn't be wrong! She... Oh. And the worst um. thing is, she would do it in the worst ways. What? She would get rid of Cassie just to make sure that that slap would happen. No, she can't get rid of... I think it's just an example. Cassie, right? It's just an example, but I'm saying it's the lengths that she would take to do this is horrible. Okay, but... You said she was a fortune teller. She was able to do these things. And why hasn't she been doing them for the longest time? I mean, 
Hmm. I've never even heard of this mystic hippo until now, so clearly yeah. something had to have happened, right? Yes. Do you remember your great uncle, Phantom Freddy? Um, yeah. Do you remember how I told you that he couldn't do magic other than dark magic? Yeah. It was one of the few times in, in our combined history that me and him have ever teamed up. You teamed up with Phantom Freddy? It was one it was one of the few times we ever have, yes. It was me, him, and a few other ancients. We needed magics of all types. My magic, the dark magic, celestial magic, and time magic in order to create a seal. A a way to strip of her of her magic. In order to make sure that she couldn't do this anymore. We combined all our power together. Just to get rid of it! Wait, so if you guys all worked together and got rid of her magic, and you even said you sealed her away, then how is she doing this now that doesn't make any sense? How yeah. is she even back? The last I saw of her, she was powerless. She was angry and powerless. She couldn't even conjure a spark of magic. That's how much we made sure that nothing of hers could ever come back. But... We sealed away her power in in chains created by the essence itself. But she's back now. Well, how how is that possible? Well, you haven't really been in here, right? Mind recently? You you didn't let her go or something, did you? My situation has me turned and co contorted everywhere. I haven't been able to keep track of everything, but her seal is ancient. Something all of us agreed on, even Phantom Freddy agreed on was that no one was to ever spread the information of the mystic kippo we even altered the memories of everyone around so that everyone would forget the existence of the mystic kippo okay but if she's been gone this entire time and now she's coming back but you're saying she's powerless how does that even make any sense i mean she's supposed to be powerless so it doesn't seem like it if she's creating creepy magic Sigil circle things on the wall, especially ones that you recognize. What does that mean? She found a way to regain some power. But she she must have found some kind of way. She must have known that none of us, Phantom Freddy, me, or any of the other ancients that still are around, must not be paying attention to her anymore. And she found a way to recover some of her well, magic. Just lock her back up, right? Yeah, it seems easy enough. I can't. Why not? My power is not the way it was right now. I can't use magic right now without it messing up right now. Okay, that's one thing. That's a whole other thing of it itself. I, but what does Nova have to do with this, though? Because I've been having these weird visions, and they've been kind of crossing over with reality and doing something. I don't know. They all feel Nova connected. Nova wasn't it an accident. Sense. What? No, I, I wish on a star, and he, he came, and... He was granting my wishes. That's that's all that happened. Gregory, do you not... I believe that the Mystic Hippo must have assumed that you would, that you were doing that and manipulated reality enough to bring Nova to you. Oh. What? That, that doesn't make sense. Why would she do that? Because you're a kid. Kids are impulsive. Kids are... Don't always think things through. Hell, a lot of adults d don't think things through as well. But kids in particular, they really don't think things through. I mean, how many of your wishes did you make before you realized they were bad? Um, that's all of them. Three? There were quite a few. Four? I mean, I, I brought remember? Rocky back to life. Do you remember what I told you? About how every wish has a negative consequence? Yeah, but I, I just thought maybe Nova's magic was different. He was so nice. He seemed great. Um, reality reality through. always finds a way to balance itself out. And I believe that your magic created instability. Your wish to re resurrect your uncle, Rocky. I believe that created instability that could be destabilizing everything. What does that mean? Gregory. Do you remember all those cheesy movies where they say a child's wish is more powerful than anything? Yeah, but that's just the movies. Gregory, some fiction is based off of reality. 
a child's wish, especially one with filled with grief, but also love? Because you love your uncle, didn't you? Well, of course I love Rocky. That's I wanted to bring him back. I, I wanted just to be a big, happy family again. Roxanne missed him. I missed him. Everyone missed him. Exactly. When it's fueled by grief and love, it generates a lot of power. What and does by... that have to do with anything, though? Sure, it could Gregory. generate a lot of power, but... Where does that power I think go? I was trying to say Mystic Hippo wanted it. She used you, Gregory. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, sure, it's filling Nova with power, energy, or whatever you want to call it, but... It's it's Nova's power. It's it's his power that he's using on the wishes. Gregory, what better source of power would there be in this world? Your pa and not only that, it's continuing to g to generate power. What do you mean continuing? You never undid that wish. No. Why would I undo the wish? Rocky's back. Everything's great. He's happy. Sure, there was some weird complications with Ennard, but it's nothing we can't just solve i mean circus baby's going to rebuild him and then he's gonna be great it's almost like nothing ever even happened rocky never died so we we don't have to worry about that gregory reality was still changed what did ennard ennard lost his entire history all his growth the things that he went with through with circus baby with glamrock freddy hell even that incident that happened at summer camp with frankie all that history was erased and was replaced by other things. What does that mean? Gregory, I hate to be the one to tell you this. You need to undo your wish. Hold on. What? Just <laughs> unwish Rocky being back, but Roxanne will be heartbroken. I know. I, we'll all be heartbroken. We can't just get rid of him. Gregory, he you need to. Because if you don't, the Mystic Hippo, and not only that wish, but all the other wishes that you made, even though you undid them, they were made from the heart. Each wish, our game giving the Mystic Hippo her power back. So if, she's... If what? she... If she... Taking it? What is happening? Gregory, if she takes all that power at once, if you don't undo that wish and limit the power, the Mystic Hippo will be back to what she was. Gregory. No. Okay, look. I know you're saying that this Mystic Hippo or whatever is super powerful, and I'm sure whatever it is is probably horrifying, especially if you and a bunch of ancient, in including Phantom Freddy, had to literally seal her away, but... Gregory! You know, we can't just get rid of Rocky, that's... If you that's, don't, there, I won't be able to stop her! There has to be another option, though, right? There's always another option. We can't just kill Rocky! Gregory, you have to break the link! You have to sever the link! If you don't, you literally cause the end of the world. End of the world? Okay, geez, when we came here today, I really didn't think it was going to be this I didn't serious. I didn't either. Can we just maybe go back to talking about Mundang and the manifestation, which can. is... Look, I, I've never seen you this worked up about anything before. Um, yes, Gregory. I don't know if I'd be able to protect you like I have before. Your previous threats, I have been able to change things in order to make sure that you always survived. Make sure always things always happened. I've always kept an eye out for you, kid. I always try to do that for everyone. Try to manipulate events so that way the best possible could happen. But with this, Gregory, I don't know if I'd be able to save you this time. Okay, but there's several issues here. Uh, we'd have to get rid of Rocky, which is already going to be a problem within itself, because Proxian's not going to let me do that. I'm not even going to be able to bring myself to do it. Plus, I don't even know where Nova is. You need to find him, Gregory. You need to... Golden, uh, Golden Freddy? There's something wrong. Oh? There's something wrong. Uh, someone's pulling at my reality. Oh. Um, Should we call Cassie? someone? I mean, who do you call the... The, the Ghostbusters? Who's gonna come? Golden Freddy's like the powerful I one. What are, we, what are we supposed to do? He just yeah. disappeared in front of I us. Sure did, and it, Gregory, I don't know what any of this means. The Mystic okay. Hippo, Nova, or whatever, but it sounds like we're in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, it sounds like we're in way over our heads as well, and I have no idea how to fix it. God forbid I get rid of Rocky or do anything like that. Cassie, I don't know where Nova is. He's been in my head. He's in some 
He's just been in darkness. I, I, well, I don't know how to find him. I guess that's step one then. Because if we want to avoid everything that Golden Freddy was talking about, Gregory, we need to find Nova. <sighs> okay, that's going to be step two. Step one is getting out of here. I don't want to disappear like he did. Um, if you're still here, I'm really sorry, Grandpa. Um, we're uh, gonna get this figured out. Thank you for the help. I promise. I think. Let's get out of here. <sighs>